I'm Jaden Jefferson, and for this week's Around T-Town, I'm checking out Wami Valley Chocolate and Candy, and I'm right now at the downtown location. I'm joined by Jason Peters, who is the owner. So first, tell me about Wami Valley Chocolate and Candy, your story, and how it got started. Well, we just opened this store about five months ago, where we make homemade chocolates. We have all of our veteran candy, soda, taffy, ice cream, pretty much what's fun and candy and chocolate related, and we have it here. You kind of talk about just the local business part of this. I work here every day almost, and it's all compact into a nice, fun, easy to shop place where you can bring family and kids and your mom and shop all these different things and not have to travel to different places to get. And one of the cool parts is that you also get to know what people's tastes are. So would you say that there's a difference in a Toledoan's chocolate taste compared to the national chocolate taste? Not that I've really discovered yet. And what would you say is some of the big things that people look for? I'm sure there are some favorites that people have. Definitely have like our most popular items like our chocolate covered strawberries, our homemade turtles, our fudge, ice cream. But then the fun part is when they come in looking for just the most obscure thing and I actually have it. Like that's pretty exciting. I'm sure it is. And of yeah. course you have the main location on Conant Street in Long Beach. But this new location we just mentioned it opened five months ago. And so what was the reason it grew? Well, we've been in Maumee for 13 years, doing real well. So we took a tour of this building and the space and we really liked it. So one thing led to another, and here we are. And I really do think Ford Industry Square kind of fits that because this is really just a street of local businesses. And so what do you think the future looks like? I'm excited to be part of this building. I mean, there's still a lot of spaces left to develop. So I can see this being like a really neat place to shop. Well, I'm excited to be part of it. Jason Peters, owner of Wapi Valley Chocolate and Candy. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Thank you. And that's this week's Around T-Town. I'm Jane Jefferson.